I'm back with a double upload. So, I overslept Wednesday, so I couldn't get the uh, NXT New Year's Evil review out around midnight or try to record it around 11 on Tuesday. So, because I was in preparations of trying to get uh, New Japan Wrestle Kingdom up. And by the way, night three is Saturday, so I'm very excited for Noah versus uh, NJPW. I'll get to that review when uh, night three is over. But New Year's Evil, first time watching 2.0. Let me just go through these matches. Uh, the unification match for the North American and Cruiserweight title. What a match. I loved it. It was nuts. It might be my only favorite match on 2.0. And it's only at the moment because it was a barn burner. It had some incredible move sets and all uh Carmelo Hayes is going to be a star. He's going to be probably one of the premier features in WWE in the near future because he's got the mic skills, he's got the ring work, and he's got the character. Dude is brash, arrogant. He's got a skill set that's a that's right near the uh cruiserweight side, but also on like an in-ring side as well. And Roger Strong, he had an impressive one with the uh, Cruiserweight title. Props to him for having an amazing run down in, uh, with the Cruiserweight title. But sadly, 205 is now officially dead. And it's only been five and a half years since it came back. It's gone just like that. And it's like, oh, wait a minute. Actually, you know what? Since 2016. Yeah, about five and a half years. Since like 2016. You got, like, up until, like, 2021 in, like, June. Got, like, that time period. And, like, another half a year or so. You got to wait. It's a shame. Uh, I love 205 Live when it was all about the Cruiserweights. When it was on after SmackDown. And when it was on Monday Night Raw. Like, they did. Um, they t Triple H did his best, unfortunately. And now it's gone. It's all gone now. But it was some great moves and there's a clash of like two different styles in the greatest way possible. It was a springboard over the top row DDT that connected on the apron, which was insane. And like seeing Strong do what he did in the ring, it was amazing. It was amazing. As I love Roger Strong as a technical wrestler, he's one of the best in the world. Ugh, what a match. I hope Roger Strong actually gets a call up to the main roster soon. As he deserves at least a run. At least some sort of small run on like Friday Night Smackdown. He can be something on Smackdown. We have Braun Brecker arriving to the arena along with Tommaso Ciampa sitting in his locker room. Then AJ Styles came into the locker room having a little bit of a confrontation after the two had a little bit of things that happened in 2019. Going to handle some business tonight. The Dusty Classic is back. But what are you going to do about the teams on the women's side? And then we got AJ Styles in NXT, which is not the black and gold, which I am depressed by. But AJ Styles in NXT is still awesome to see. He had a little bit of a promo saying it never gets old. He thanks the fans for like a couple minutes talking about the chance, the championship titles, his runs within the promotion, which in the wrestling world with New Japan, Impact Wrestling, Ring of Honor. I think he had trips to Gorilla and probably Noah. And then coming to WWE, regretting that he didn't start NXT. He started in the Royal Rumble. He was on Raw. He was on SmackDown. Months later, he was on WrestleMania. And then he won the WWE Championship literally just a couple more months later in September after his January debut. So nine months. He spent almost nine months and winning at the highest of level. And that he... Feels like he doesn't want to take any of the passion away from NXT. But Grayson Waller does. And that's why he's come there. That has shut him up for a bit. Teach him a lesson. But uh, Grayson came out, interrupted him. And then, you know, had a little bit of a rundown. Of just running down AJ Styles as a loser. <clears throat> Talking about he got killed by Omos. Taunts the fans. And then AJ lost last night due to the fact that he was thinking of Grayson. But AJ said he was right. AJ said that Grayson was right. He's beat up. He's hurt. 
And why don't Grayson take advantage with a match tonight? Which he could. But instead, main event now on next Tuesday, which is going to be unbelievable seeing AJ Styles compete in NXT. I think for the second time. I don't know. But it's going to be awesome. Actually, you know what? It is going to be the second time AJ's competing in NXT. It's going to be awesome. I, I, I mean, I can't wait. Uh, they had a little bit of a brawl, but AJ came out on top afterwards. Almost hitting a phenomenal form this close. Can't wait for that match. Can't wait to see AJ Styles again in NXT, but sadly on the 2.0 version. Pete Dunn cut a promo. Uh, challenge Tony D'Angelo to a match next week. Bring the crowbar, and in fact, it's going to be a crowbar on a pole match. Yeah, uh, Casey Catanzaro and Caden Walt Carter had a little bit of a segment backstage with Indy, with Indy Lockwell and uh, her group, which led to a six-woman tapping except for next week. Indy Lockwell is Indy Hartwell. Oh man, what's wrong with me? I haven't ate yet. It doesn't matter. And Indy and her partner are gonna have Wendy Chu who. Is actually, damn it, the repackaged form of, I forgot the person, I forgot the uh, name that they were going with, oh well, oh well, but we got the six man tag, Imperium and, Imperium versus MSK and Wolf, <coughs> oh, we got the six man tag featuring Imperium versus MSK and Riddle. I looked into the details saying that Jeff Hardy was supposed to be the uh, shaman. You know what? That's okay. That's fine. We missed out on that. But we got a much better we got a much better outcome. We got a much better showcase. And it was absolutely phenomenal. Anything about multi-man matches, it's just unbelievable. It's seriously unbelievable. And seeing Walter back in NXT after being gone since 36, it was amazing. Absolutely amazing. He still is one of the best wrestlers in the world. Best big wrestlers in the world. And has a phenomenal skill set. And then it's like Riddle and him had a clash. The chops. The high flying moves. It was all around awesome. The end of the match. It was awesome as well. With MSK hitting their finisher. And then Riddle hitting Floating Bro. It was a phenomenal match. I have no complaints towards it. I loved that match. It was wrestling at his perfectionist tag team wrestling simply just getting the spotlight it felt just right it felt right to me it's just like i had no words right now i had no words new year's evil was impressing the hell out of me and then joe and harlan had a little bit of a problem backstage saying that they want to be in the dusty cup but they want to earn their spot fine mandy rose arriving in helicopter style with some black wings and uh Anyways, uh, Carmen Electra cut a promo backstage with Zion Quinn and Santos Escobar again going to face off. But the winner this time is going to walk away with Carmen Electra as their manager. Should be interesting. Probably going to tune into that night. Probably going to tune into that night, definitely. I'm going to have to be forced to tune into that night. Um, triple Threat Women's Championship match. Cora Jade, mm, Raquel Gonzalez, Mandy Rose, Skateboard, motorcycle and a goddamn helicopter just what in the uh mm, mm. holy okay yeah mandy rose is mandy rose is uh hey hey mandy how you doing anyways not a bad match it was a little bit of a botch fest here and there but it it was fine it was fine for what it was the story told in that match was Cora just trying to get that one sneaky little roll-up victory trying to get that one fluke victory but instead Mandy countered it into a roll-up herself it was some decent action back and forth but in the end Mandy Rose retained I don't mind the outcome I don't think Cora Jade is ready for the women's title yet and Raquel has had a pretty nice run in NXT during the black and gold era, she doesn't need the championship. I think it's time to put the championship, to keep the title on Mandy Rose, and probably put it on somebody else in the near future. I maybe say Indy, Hart Indy Hartwell will deserve. Indy Hartwell deserves 
a women's title run. I think she could be much more of a singles competitor than a tag competitor. For sure. We got a BOA promo. Yeah. And then Riddle and MSK split ways. Same, well, Riddle's got to be back on the main roster. Of course he does because he's one half of RK, bro. He's got Randy Orton. And then the Creed brothers stepped up to MSK saying that they won't win the Dusky Cup again. And they will. So they're probably going to face off. Andre Chase had a, pro had a little segment that was interrupted by Von Wagner. And then Von Wagner attacked some fans. And somebody else in the crowd. I don't know who that was. And then we got the NXT Championship match before... Cameron Grimes had a little bit of a promo segment. To the moon! Dude is awesome. I love him. Still love him. Uh, next week, run down with the main event of Styles and Grayson Waller. It should be fun. And finally, the NXT Championship match between Tommaso Ciampa and Braun Breaker. This was probably better than their match at Halloween Havoc. And... The right decision was made to put the title on Brecker. It was a great match. Rick Steiner was in attendance. I did not know that. Uh, it was first start off with the fact that Braun was breaking the chains of the black and gold and setting the standards of the new 2.0. He's unfazed, but Champa's unfazed, untouchable. He's black and gold to the purest, even though he was wearing the colors of 2.0 on his trunks. It was an amazing match. It was absolutely an amazing match. And he tapped. Champa lost clean. The right decision. And you know what? I'm not mad at it. I'm so proud of what 2.0 did that night. It was an amazing nonstop main event. The crowd was electric for the whole entire event. It felt like they would not die down for one second. And now 2.0 is officially taking over. It's no longer the black and gold. You don't have, um, while well, you still have Imperium as the tag champions who are the originators of Black Clover from the Black and Gold, you do have Carmelo Hayes, who's the North American champion. There's no longer a Cruiserweight title. There's Mandy Rose, who's the women's champion. And then you have Braun Breaker, who's now the NXT champion. I, for one, am very much pleased at what WWE did. They really shown us the fact that, hey, they can do a lot. They can do a lot with the amount of storytelling, with the amount of patience that somebody needs to have. They went far beyond the expectations of what they set out for. The pacing felt like Takeover Thirty Five, which was like the most recent Takeover before Thirty Six, because they put out some. They put out heaters. There were heater after heater after heater, and like Thirty Six didn't have bad matches, but Thirty Five was much better. For many reasons. For me, fully watching 2.0 for the first time, they impressed the hell out of me. And now I'm sort of, sort of more invested in the show than what I was earlier. For the skill, for the, for the skeptics that are still like feeling that tension of not switching over, don't worry. NXT is in perfect hands with 2.0. They got a future. They got a foundation for years to come. And... You'll enjoy it just like the black and gold era never left. So I'm going to give this a five-star rating. This is NXT 2.0. I'm going to have to change that. This is NXT 2.0. And uh, the other ratings are colorful enough, mediocre, like the game show. You're just not gold and full of black. And then change back to the real NXT, which was the black and gold. I don't think... I'm probably going to get to that rating unless they have a shit episode like they did in 2021. Don't you dare disappoint me. But what do you think of NXT in the com? What do you think of NXT back on Tuesday? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm going to really be interested in listening and reading all your comments. What you think about NXT 2.0. Tell me what you like about NXT 2.0. Tell me what you hate about NXT 2.0. I got my little, I got my little criticism here and there, but the future is here. The future is now. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to be getting this Dynamite video done right now. So stay tuned. Peace and blessings. If you don't tune in, stay safe. Follow all safety protocols.